Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and today I'm here to talk about ADHD and pain. Really is interesting to me how many people with ADHD who are older, maybe they're in some kind of pain, maybe after a surgery, uh, maybe they've got arthritis, uh, maybe they had knee replacement that went bad, but the bottom line is there's this low level nagging pain. And they talk about having uh, difficulty focusing and they talk about having struggle with energy. And it's always interesting to me because they think that it's all ADD and they should just be doing some stuff and they beat themselves up. And what I've learned over the years is pain is an interesting thing. If I were to hold my hand out like this, if you will, with a glass of water, I would show you except to the side. Well, maybe this will work. Glass of water parallel to the ground, eight ounce glass. I hold it there for a couple. It's like no big deal. Eight hours later, it's going to be painful. Uh, my arm's going to get tired. Everything that I think about is going to be focused in on that arm. It's going to distract me. It's going to take energy away from me. It's interesting to me how many people with ADHD have these other problems that are creating pain. They're taking their energy away and they beat themselves up thinking that they're just a horrible person. They're procrastinating. They're not getting to anything. They really don't have the energy and they're not realizing the elephant in the room is pain. The pain is like this low level nagging thing that just sucks your life away. The issue really is you don't sit there and beat yourself up. What you should do is you've got to manage the pain. Sometimes you need more sleep. Sometimes you just need to take a little bit of a break. Sometimes you need to go see a physician to do some other things. But the point really is, is it's amazing to me how many people I've coached over the years where they're struggling. They think it's their ADHD. Their ADHD is taxed, but it's more taxed because of this low level pain. Again, this is a little bit of an off topic, but I've coached enough people around it that were oblivious to it that I had to share it with you because you know we're all about insights. We're all trying to deal with things that are not appearance-based that actually kind of drive the bus. So hopefully this has gave you pause to think about pain. Um, also, as an aside, if you have allergies, yes, allergies can impact your ADHD. By the way, the medications that you take um, for allergies, some kind can negatively impact your ADHD stimulant medications. So that's another example of something in the background that can uh, make your ADHD symptom a little bit worse. Anyway, back to where I was. The point where this is, I hope you give you pause to think. Um, maybe this speaks to you. And if it does, just give yourself um, permission to let go. Focus on pain management and realize is that you're probably performing pretty well given that. Please subscribe to our channel um, by hitting the subscribe button and leave your thoughts and comments. If this makes some sense. Uh, can you share it with somebody else? And you have any other ideas for other episodes of Attention Talk Video? Hope you've enjoyed this. Take care.